What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my let's play of WWE 2K17, my career mode in this Dolph Ziggler feud for reasons beyond my understanding, and trying to get to rank 3 slowly but surely. Wait, now there's a different created character, my career grim in my game. What? Also, how the hell did I get the main event with Dolph over John Cena and Daniel Bryan? That seems wrong. Anyway, oh no, the handshake feud, the handshake stuff continues. Nope, pop him in the face. That's right, no handshake for you. Should have shook my damn hand, Dolph. Anyway, welcome to Thursday, I believe. It's Thursday, yes. Uh, I am so just far gone this week. It has been absolute chaos, but... We start our show today on a bit of a somber note, as the wife of Jim Ross, uh, unfortunately, did not make it from that, uh, moped accident. So our thoughts and prayers with the family in this very trying time, uh, and there's one important takeaway from this whole situation. It's that if you're driving a two-wheel vehicle, even if your state's law does not require you to wear a helmet, wear a helmet. Helmets save lives, period. So, uh, yes, very sad situation all around. Um, and moving on into other wrestling news, uh, we, we found out who is going to induct, uh, Beth Phoenix into the Hall of Fame. It will be Natalia, which I, I guess makes sense because, you know, she's on the current roster and whatnot. But, personally, uh, I would have preferred, like, it, we, 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 we already know that, uh, that, Somewhere in the, the whole mania thing, we will see Kelly Kelly. And I, like, she'd be a good choice, only because they had a lot of battles back and forth. Um, and also, Santino would be a good choice, because, you know, they were Glamorella, and, and that was hilarious when he was still a heel, and she was a heel, and it was fantastic. Um, Molly Holly would have been a good choice, because it was Molly Holly who helped Beth get hired in the first place. Um, but, considering you have Natalia on the current roster, and they were the Divas of Doom, or whatever, uh, it is still a pretty good pick. But, seriously. There there are better picks out there, but, you know, for whatever political reasons, backstage reasons, whatever, uh, ended up not being a thing. Uh, so, is what it is. And Dolph hits the neck breaker. Um... The big rumor going around right now uh, is that apparently WWE has been interested in buying Ring of Honor, which, if true, would be insane. I'm just botching things like Sincara here. Would be insane if they just buy Ring of Honor. Um, now, maybe it's just for the tape library because they've signed so many guys that used to work at Ring of Honor. Like, I get that, but... Uh, it would be insane to buy a promotion just for their tape library. Like, I don't know that they necessarily want the talent, uh, but it's like, hey, we get all the old footage of guys we've signed, like Seth Rollins, and, you know, Daniel Bryan, and Kevin Owens, um, for, you know, our career DVD, retrospective, whatever, you know? Uh, but also, if they're just trying to put them out of business because... They see them as competition. That'd be kind of fucked up. But we know how Vince treats competition. So, you know, I guess there's that part of that e equation. Bye bye Dolph. I've beaten Dolph Ziggler so many times that it doesn't even phase me to beat him one more time. There's not even any kind of a real competition. So why in the hell Paul Heyman would suggest this feud? I have no I, dear, you should probably get used to this, Dolph. It's gonna be happening a lot. You can eat it, yeah. And back into the positive numbers in this feud. Three star match or better. Renee, Renee, Renee. Let's talk about Dolph Ziggler. I'll be fighting him at Royal Rumble. Thoughts on that matchup? I'm gonna win. It's a win. It's gonna be tough. It's going to be a tough match for sure, but that's what I'm all about. I come through in the toughest of situations, and at a pay-per-view, it's no different. I'm going in there, going to grind out a victory, and do it 
in style. I was being sarcastic. And then we have Dean Ambrose, who I'm sure is still a bit salty that I pinned him in that fatal four-way. Also, booking us above Triple H and The Rock, are you out of your mind? So I think the implications of WWE buying Ring of Honor doesn't just affect Ring of Honor, because Ring of Honor is very much uh, entwined with New Japan, and if WWE is very much against any kind of an American expansion of New Japan, then buying Ring of Honor would kind of cut that off at the knees. Because obviously, Ring of Honor already has the infrastructure for America, whereas New Japan does not. Not that they couldn't acquire it, you know, or figure it out, but it makes it so much easier when you already have Ring of Honor and their base of operations here. So, this is a very strategic move, if it's true. Because uh, obviously it is still very much a rumor. And, you know, they might not want to sell. So they might say, you know what, fuck that shit. We're going to do our own damn thing. And keep on keep on cultivating talent that you can steal uh, a bit down the road. And get, you know, better paydays for those guys and whatnot. So, I don't know. Uh, I think it's still important to have independence, uh, small and large, uh, around the country and around the world. Because it gives guys a better chance to learn their craft and hone their craft in different styles, and not just the generic WWE style, uh, which is, you know, annoying that they keep doing that. Um, it, it, like, having NXT is not a substitute for having territories. It's just not. It's, it's good, but it's, everyone kind of has the same style, everyone has the same fucking suicide dives. It's just, you could tell when a bunch of guys were kind of in that same class of, uh, NXT. Because they all kind of have a very a very similar in-ring style, which is, you know, makes things... But you want differences. You want, uh, you know, things to not be bland. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, and how I view the world of, of, uh, of wrestling. But, uh, kind of in that same vein, but not in that same vein. Or I guess, speaking of ex-Ring of Honor talent, uh, there's been some rumors about Mike Bennett and Maria making an appearance in... WWE. Now, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Maria is somehow involved in this WrestleMania deal where they're going to have a bunch of ex-female uh, talent in that SmackDown, whatever the hell that SmackDown women's title thing is. Like, I would certainly expect to see Ke Kelly Kelly in there um, and perhaps a few other surprises because it's anybody who can show, you know, who wants to come in and, and, and get a shot at that belt. So that would not surprise me in any uh, measure, so, we'll see, uh, but yeah, that would not surprise me if they end up down in NXT in the near future, uh, and Dino here, nope, sorry Dino, you do not get to have a comeback for this match, no fucking dice, Dean, no dice, um, slug exploder. and finally, finally, um, Shawn Michaels has said that he turned down he turned down doing a match at Mania with AJ Styles. And on one hand, you're like, man, that's a bit of a fucking drop going from potentially Shawn Michaels, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, in-ring performer of all time, to Shane McMahon, who's not really a wrestler. But I do have to respect when a man says he's retired, he's retired. He's not pulling a Terry Funk or Ric Flair, or any of the other guys who just can't give it up and have to come back over and over again. He's actually saying, you know what? I retired. I respect Taker enough to say, you know what? You retired me. I'm done. No one-offs, no one-shots, nothing. Done. He has his legacy. He has his in-ring career. He has his body of work. And the fact that he can just put that down and let that body of work stand for itself deserves respect. So unfortunately, that is a dream match. That's only going to happen in video games, and that's a shame. Uh, but they really couldn't find a better opponent for AJ than Shane McMahon? Like, really? Anyway, I spent too much time discussing that particular conundrum. I'm a tax lug. Uh, more videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.